IDF editor is a specialized editor for Energy Plus input files. The uh, main areas of the interface are the class list, which shows all of the available Energy Plus object class types, information area, and then the object grid, where individual objects within a class are edited. In the object grid, there are field names for each entry. Field names in blue indicate a required field that cannot be left blank. The info box shows explanations of both the object and specific keywords. It may indicate uh, max and min values as appropriate, faults, and other information describing the particular purpose of the field. Data can be entered by typing in a field. Or there may be a drop-down list of specific keywords to choose from. Or there may be a drop-down list referring to specific types of other objects present in the input file. In this case, the construction name references all of the available construction objects that are present in this input file. Shading indicates a field that is out of range. In this case, view factor to ground has a valid range from 0 to 1. The value of 2 results in a shade. It is possible to take an object and duplicate it or create a new object. Note that when a new object is created, any fields which have a default will have the default value filled in already. When ent entering data, you can use Enter or Tab to store the field. Remember, the very last field that you enter before saving the file, you must hit Enter or use Tab to leave that field in order to store the value, otherwise your last edit might be lost. You can also use the tab key, the arrow keys, or the mouse to move from field to field. Under the file menu, there is an option called open dataset. This provides direct access to the dataset files which come with Energy Plus. Dataset files are like a library of predefined materials. However, Energy Plus does not read a dataset file at runtime. The user must select the desired object, copy, and then paste into the particular working file where they want to use that object. Also under the file menu are save options. IDF editor can save, can rearrange the input file if the user desires. There are three save options. One is called sorted where all objects of the same class will be grouped together in the input file. So all materials, then all material air gap, then all surfaces. Some users prefer to keep their file organized by zone or by system, in which case you want to set the save option to be original, either with new objects at the top or new objects at the bottom. This will preserve the order of objects which may have been established in a different editing environment. There is also an option to write certain objects such as output variable commands and other short common objects in a one-line format rather than the stacked format. This concludes IDF Editor Part 1.